I guess family always comes first to me, for me. So the ranch would always come first and kind of beat out anything. There's a lot of responsibilities on, our, on the ranch. My brother pretty much runs it, but there's a lot of time where I, I'm needed. Certain things, you know, uh, so I'm always there for him. Snowboarding second, um, a close second. Finding time to just kind of balance my life and do things I'd like to do more than I'd have to do, I guess. Uh, that's, kind of the, that's kind of the balance right now. It's very outside of the box coming from small town Tensley, ranching, blue collar community, everybody works their asses off, you know, that's, that's a normal thing, there's not a lot of vacation. It's, it's awesome to have their support, you know, that's really important to me to know when I'm traveling and, and doing my thing, to know that I'm supported. Because I know they're all working super hard. I'm working hard, but like it's working, I mean, is snowboarding working? It's like, dude. But to go home and just like dig back in with the working man and, you know, be on that level and just remember why I do all this, it's, it's important, you know. My old man, I mean, he was a battle axe and he taught me, you know, work ethic and, you know, being honest and just how to be a man and be tough. Don't be a pussy. I just really roll that over into snowboarding as, you know, you just work hard at it, you know, you make your sacrifices. And I mean, coming up through, through my whole career, there was always people that were like, from Ten Sleep to Jackson to wherever, there was always people that were like, oh, what are you doing, man? Like, you, you're not gonna make it or whatever. And I was just like, I know I'm gonna work hard towards what I wanna do and I know it's gonna work out. You know, you just, I just had faith on that path and I just put, my, put my, my head down, I had my family support and just made it happen, you know? There's no build up anymore. Everything's just like there. You do something, you're like, okay, today, I did this today. Everybody's like, oh, what did you do today? But it's not like back in the day, you know, you waited all freaking year to see that snowboarding video. You waited all year to see that clip. It's cool to be able to, to reach that many people with one photo or whatever. But I think, I don't know, it's just all out there for the taking and anybody can get a piece of it. It's, it's not a, just a certain group, it's, I don't know. It's, it's a fucked up thing. <laughs> The template of the pro snowboarder when I came on was you kind of were doing other people's projects. You kind of, you know, you had sponsors backing you and they kind of told you what direction you wanted it to go. And through the years and the older I get, I just realize that like it's my path in the mountains and that's the one I want to follow. And I think I'm most proud of what my path has been in the past four years. You know, I had some hard times and after I came out of that, it was just like, okay, I'm not snowboarding for money anymore. I'm not worried about a paycheck. I'm just gonna go snowboard and do my thing and let it all kind of come together. And it really has, you know, just like, I didn't, I quit worrying about all the, the material bullshit of it. And I just like stripped it down to just the bare minimums. It's like, I just wanna be in the mountains with the people I care about and the people that care about me. And man, it all just kind of came together. And I'm, I'm on the path that I, I know I should be on. And, and it's, uh, it's a gratifying feeling, you know. It's important for us to take snowboarding back, you know. The, the right people need to be involved and the right people need to have their hands in it. And I believe snowboarding should be in the mountains, you know. And, I, and, and with saying that, that doesn't mean that the urban stuff is, shouldn't be there. That's awesome, man. Like, you snowboard where you are. You, you use the resources you have. It's, it's really refreshing to see kids like that, the new generation, taking it into their own hands and not listening to everybody else being like oh you shouldn't do that the older people or, or whoever's influencing them in the negative way to just kind of be like you know what screw you we're gonna do our thing and we don't care what your opinion is what gets me excited is just exploring you know Wh whether that be like traveling the world or in my own backyard i love to get out and i love to move on my bike or hike on my dirt bike so i guess in general it's just like exploring and, and then and the adventure that surrounds it all you know